I'm Margaret. I'm Mona. I'm Kristen. I'm Danielle. And today we're going to talk about religion. I know religion is a pretty uh, touchy topic yeah. nowadays. Sensitive. Mm -hmm. Very sensitive. Mm -hmm. Very sensitive. sensitive. No mm -hmm. one really likes to talk about religion and the effects of religion. And today we're actually in a religious war. Mm -hmm. You know, we got different things in the world going on like ISIS and, you know, the Islamic movement. And you know we have those, you know, the Christianity movement, whatever, mm -hmm. you know. But let's talk about church hurt. We're going to narrow it down, you know. Mm -hmm. Church hurt. We we understand a lot of people now are being hurt when it comes to church or let me say religion. Mm -hmm. Why is that? You know, I know sometimes for me, it's if you don't measure up. If you don't fit a certain bill, then you're not a part. Mm -hmm. You would think that different things like that are only secular, mm -hmm. but you go into the church, you know, where you're supposed to get your help, where you, where it's mm -hmm. supposed to be the hospital. Where, where you feel blamed for whatever transgressions you've done. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, you're now being sub subject, you know, or subjected to the issues that are within the church. Now, uh, I'll let you girls talk a little bit, but let me let me just throw this out there. Mm -hmm. The church is not the building, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, people got it wrong. It's mm -hmm. the people in it, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so we're dealing with people who have issues that are that take their issues and problems out on you, but call it religion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, have at it. Well, I, I can say I can talk about talk it all day. All day huh? mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know, when you think of church. You know, you think of a safe haven. You mm -hmm. think of um, somewhere I can go to get the help that I need. Like, you know, um, I know at our church, uh, our pastor says that church is like a hospital for the soul. So you go and you, you have this uh, mindset of being open mm -hmm. because I'm going to get what I need. I'm going to get the help. Mm -hmm. But we have to remember that everybody in the church needs help at some point, you know. So we, we look to people sometimes to give us the things that we need versus looking to mm -hmm. the number one source and so whenever we look at people we start we we um get disappointed mm -hmm. you know and um i know for me um, there was a situation that happened um with a, a young lady at our church um and i looked up to her you know and i was not expecting her to conduct herself in the manner that mm -hmm. she did and I was extremely hurt. Like, I was like, oh my God, like, I'm supposed to come to be able to come to you. We're supposed to be able to work together. And, you know, um, we're supposed to actually be able to help each other. And I feel like you're taking advantage of me because right. I look up to you mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I hold you to this high esteem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times that's, you know, how church hurt can start mm -hmm. because you, you let it, you don't talk about it. You let it settle. Mm -hmm. You don't, you know, go to the person that you have this hurt with and, you know, it just continues on and on. Mm -hmm. For someone who grew up a nominal Christian and then converted later in life in my teens, mm -hmm. you know, I never grew up going to church and um, so occasionally I'd go with some friends because they invited me and some of the churches they're fine but the other churches I felt that I was judged mm -hmm. and so and that, and that made me not want to go mm -hmm. because like whatever I did whatever lifestyle I grew up with a single mm -hmm. mother with uh, two kids mm -hmm. with different fathers mm -hmm. and um, she's a working mother at that and um, some of them just looked down on it. I went to this foundation because I homeschooled for a while, and there's a few people that, you know, like, like, oh, she's a wild child. She came from public school. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> mm -hmm. and so I was looked at as the outsider, mm -hmm. you know, within the community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a lot of time it's tradition, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of time, yeah. you know, tradition will say, well, if you don't fit within mm -hmm. this certain box, there mm -hmm. you go, that word box again, mm -hmm. then, you know, you're not the status quo, mm -hmm. you know, 
But I know today the Lord is trying to break that tradition mm -hmm. because the church just doesn't look like tradition. It's not even about tradition. It's about relationship. Mm -hmm. right. So a lot of people say, oh, well, if you don't dress, if you don't have your shirts down to your ankles, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. you're, you know, you're not holy or you're not sanctified, mm -hmm. you know. And I understand like within different cultures, like the uh, Islamic culture, the women, they do wear their, uh, you know, they're, they're covered from head to toe. Mm -hmm. But that's, you know, that's their mm -hmm. religion. That's what the religion, mm -hmm. you know, requires. Mm -hmm. But we're not talking about just religion. We're talking about having a relationship, mm -hmm. you know. And you cannot predicate people's mm -hmm. relationship mm -hmm. with God on the way that they look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. impossible because you can look however you want to look. You know, they have like we were talking about a, uh, another show. Uh, you can add extensions. You can add makeup. You can take things away nowadays. So um, just because you're covered, mm -hmm. you know, from head to toe, mm -hmm. does not mean your inside is, you know, the way that the Lord is wanting it to be mm -hmm. it's it's you, you we cover things up to maybe trick or to get someone else to think that we're a certain way mm -hmm. instead of dealing with the issues and a lot of times that is um, where again church hurt starts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well I'm definitely excited you know we have a guest speaker well you know a guest host today mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking about the round table meeting, you know, mm -hmm. yes, speaker, I'm thinking about it. I'm so excited about that. You know, we're giving away five free pair of boots. Yeah, I'm excited I'm one of the winners, okay? I mean, that would be great. Uh, okay, I guess I won't have to be one. I, I guess I'll give it away to someone else. But I'm excited about our uh, guest host today. You know, we're going to get more in depth, you know, about church hurt and, you know, the effects of it and things like that and what it's like being a young woman and being in a church and, you know, you are seeking God for different things and you know you're you're after uh, mm -hmm. the Lord Jesus Christ and you know you want everything that he says that you can have mm -hmm. but yet people says something different mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. say you can't have it mm -hmm. okay well uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut to a break and when we come back we'll talk more on church heard I know this is a topic that a lot of people do not want to touch and they really don't want to talk about it but we're going to talk about it and mm -hmm. we're going to address those issues so until then we'll be right back Welcome back to Sister to Sister Nation, my girl talk. I'm your host, Margaret, and we've been talking about church hurt and the effects that uh, church has on our feelings. And, and we understand that church is just not the building, but mm -hmm. it is the people within it. Mm -hmm. And we can't blame it on religion. Mm -hmm. But, you know, different folks, you know, different, what do they call it? Different strokes. Yeah, different, different strokes. Different strokes. <laughs> you know? So what we have nowadays, we have like the uh, old school trying mm -hmm. to converge with the, the new school, yeah. or, we, or shall I say we have the old school trying to stay away from the new school, but we know that, you know, when God changes, you know, mm -hmm. you know, he changed, you have to move with how he's changing, yes. mm -hmm. and a lot of times we were being left behind because there are ones that in the church say, well, not uh you know, you don't look like us, right. you know, mm -hmm. so we don't want to deal with you, mm -hmm. right. you know, right. but it's causing a lot mm -hmm. of hurt. Absolutely. You know, and so today I, my guest, uh, we have Carla Lee, Carla Lee with us, mm -hmm. very powerful woman of God. You know, mm -hmm. uh, she has a, uh, a, a beauty. She also deals with beauty and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I, I believe it's make me over. And when I say she makes you over, she <laughs> makes you over, honey. Yes. You know, she's made me over a couple of times, you know. Thank you so, for having me. Yeah, so so ladies, you know, so we understand this is a, a very a problem. Religion, period, mm -hmm. you know, Absolutely. is a worldwide issue. You know, mm -hmm. we have Christians fighting Christians. Muslims fighting Christian, you know, we just yeah. have all this thing, mm -hmm. you know, why can't we all just get along? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's getting worse and worse just as the Bible told us, mm -hmm. um, you know, that these times were to come. But you spoke on something earlier that was pinpoint accurate about um, tradition and relationship, re religion versus relationship. And it seems to me, um, of course, I am a hairstylist. So I deal with lots of different women and all different mm -hmm. people from all walks of life, all different ages. And it seems that that um, when we do come on the topic of church and for those that kind of shy away from church, it seems that that seems to be the number one issue. Mm -hmm. People don't like to go to church because they have a fear of judgment yes. and condemnation mm -hmm. and feeling like they don't mm -hmm. belong. And, you know, mm -hmm. the cliques and the politics of church, which mm -hmm. is driving so many people away. And mm -hmm. like you made a valid point about church being compared to a hospital, mm -hmm. which is so correct. Like you I've never seen I've never seen a doctor turn a patient away. Oh, so that's good. Who, 
we yeah. oh, wow. as the body of Christ mm -hmm. to turn people away mm -hmm. or to make them feel like you're too far gone. We can't help you. Mm -hmm. You don't belong here. You don't look like us. You're not good enough. You can't mm -hmm. serve. That's not God. Mm -hmm. And it's time for uh, this is why I'm so glad that you decided to cover this topic, because it's time for it to be addressed so that things can begin to change. And like mm -hmm. I said, pull back some of those layers, those secrets, those past hurts mm -hmm. that so many people have endured, mm -hmm. sadly. I, I know we were in a conversation, Mona, I don't know if you mm -hmm. remember this, but uh, it was, I, uh, I believe it was like th around Thanksgiving, we was at one of our sister's houses for her oh, yeah. graduation mm -hmm. dinner or whatever. And mm -hmm. one of the girls made a comment and said, nobody likes Christians. Christians, mm -hmm. no, she said Christians have a bad name now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She did. You know, and she said, you know, and if you talk about, wow. you know, if you base your show on Christianity, That's you know, things. you won't get yeah. viewers, you won't get anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I have to tell you something, you know, we're blaming the religion when we should blame the people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come okay. on. Mm -hmm. yes. Why are we blaming a religion? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's blame the people mm -hmm. that says yes. that they're Christians. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not everybody, everyone says I'm a Christian. Everyone that says they're a Christian, it's not a Christian. Everyone right. that says, as you can see, that they're a Muslim, they're mm -hmm. not a Muslim. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. When you're killing people in the name of Allah, you know, that doesn't mean you're Muslim. That mm -hmm. just means that, you know, you're crazy. You're out of your mind. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You're, you're a murderer. You're a murderer. You're murderer. You're murderer. You're murderer. You know, yeah. And when you are rejecting, <laughs> when you are rejecting people in the church, you're not a Christian. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you're a hypocrite. You're mm -hmm. a, you know, Pharisee. you're, mm -hmm. you're Pharisee. Mm -hmm. Pharisee. Mm -hmm. yep. That's what you are. Mm -hmm. So we can't say that, oh, it's, it's Christianity or it's, mm -hmm. you know, Islamic mm -hmm. or it's, it's the Muslims mm -hmm. that's doing it. No, it's the people. Mm -hmm. And everyone has a choice to yeah. do the right thing. Everyone has a choice mm -hmm. to make the right decision. Absolutely. You know, if we say, you know, and, and then, of course, there are those that they are not religious, that they're atheists, mm -hmm. whatever you do, you, you know, mm -hmm. I'll do me. But, you know, if you come, if you if you walk across my path, I'm going to prophesy to you, I'm going <laughs> to preach right, to you, right. you know, right. and, 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 I'm gonna, and I'm going to show you the love that Absolutely. you're supposed to be shown. Yeah, Absolutely. and that's one of the things that I want to touch on is the love. You know, that is where, that's what Jesus, you know, taught us. Mm -hmm. You know, it was to love and not to turn away turn away the lepers or you know not to mm -hmm. um the mm -hmm. the whoremongers or whatever Absolutely. you know mm -hmm. he embraced those mm -hmm. people and that's when they started to change that's when they started to see mm -hmm. you know that there is that you know, I belong. You know, I don't have mm -hmm. to wear what I, my past. I don't have to be my past. Absolutely. You know, I have to. I I can continue to go through. You know, go on this this correct path because someone loves me, yes. you know. And that's what Amen. it's about. Mm -hmm. It's about love. Amen. At the end of the day, you know, mm -hmm. love, you mm -hmm. know, love was the first commandment. Mm -hmm. You know, he said, which one of these is more important? Mm -hmm. Love the, okay. love the so Lord, that God with all that heart, mm -hmm. you know, and then not only it, love your neighbor. Mm -hmm. It seems like so many churches it's, and ministries have kind of gotten on their own agenda. Mm -hmm. Instead of following the ultimate blueprint, if we just follow after Christ, mm -hmm. there shouldn't be any of the foolishness that we see in so many churches mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because Jesus didn't have that. His greatest commandment was to love, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh not to judge. Yes. Right. And most mm -hmm. of the hating is going on. You know, oh, you yeah. walk past. You know, they won't. They won't talk to you. The clicks. The clicks. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I get it all the time. That's why I said, "Oh Lord, we need to talk about this." <laughs> <laughs> I walk in. You know, they're looking, and they're mm -hmm. like, "Oh my God!" You know, mm -hmm. the whole nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's like, when is it? One lady made a comment, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I was joking with her, and she said, um, "I said, man, I said, you guys." No, I said, you guys hate me. I said, you guys hate me. Like, I was just joking. And then she said, no, Margaret, they hated you once you walked through the door. I was just like, mm -hmm. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Just wow. Strong. It's strong. Okay. It was like, how did you even respond? Like, I just like, kind of okay. like, okay. <laughs> like, I didn't know how to. I but you know that. what? They hated Jesus. They yeah. did. I didn't know how to feel about that, but I understood I was different. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't come yeah. in. You know, I didn't have a dress down to my ankles. Yeah, come on. It covered my, it was below my knee, but it wasn't down to my ankles. <laughs> right. You know, I came Keep in with a different talk, yes. you know, and a different walk, you know. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people don't know how to adjust to something mm -hmm. that's different. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so my lingo wasn't the same. Mm -hmm. When your lingo's not the yes. same, people automatically look at you. And they fear change. In, they fear yeah. what's different. Mm -hmm. And when the Lord is saying, no, embrace this, because yes. this is where it's headed. This, mm -hmm. is, this is the way that I'm moving. Yes, to, yes, yes. you know, mm -hmm. and so, and those that don't move, 
you know, in and this way, they're, they're going to be left behind. Amen. So and he said, to reach people. yes, mm -hmm. you know, I woke up this morning and this was not the topic for today at all. You know, we were supposed to talk about something totally different. Mm -hmm. You guys already know. Mm -hmm. uh, but I woke up this morning and um, uh, the Lord spoke to me and said, you know, Margaret, you know, uh, I'm calling all of those that have been hurt back to the church. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus. I want those that have been oust Jesus. to come back. Yes. For some of those, they are my chosen. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting ready to do a special work in this mm -hmm. season. Yes. Why? Jesus. Because of everything that's been going on. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to, I want my kingdom builders in place. Mm -hmm. I want my mm -hmm. kingdom people in place because mm -hmm. I want my message to reach everyone, not mm -hmm. just the ones in the church. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm tired of my people being turned away mm -hmm. because of what people mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. he said, I'm tired. I'm tired of that. Mm -hmm. He that says, so I want yes. you, he said, to bring this up. Mm -hmm. And yes. I was just like, no, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do it. Right. And I said, Lord, did you not hear the girl? She said they hated me once I walked right. in the door. <laughs> <laughs> You're not making this easy. <laughs> You're not making this easy on me. Because, you, you know, because, of course, the lingo is not different, mm -hmm. you know. Um, yeah. But I'm about love, Absolutely. you know, because he's about love. Mm -hmm. that's, and that's God's character. Yes, yeah. and I love you girls. And you, you know, I love you guys. I love you too. <laughs> and, and so, um, you know, so this is the message, you know, mm -hmm. that we need to portray. Mm -hmm. This is the message that the Lord wants mm -hmm. everyone to hear. Amen. You know, mm -hmm. he wants, he wants, he wants those hearts healed. Mm -hmm. And he said, and those that are willing to do the healing, mm -hmm. you know, Led by him, of course, mm -hmm. not in your own eyes, right. you know, not in your own, because right. you can do more damage than good, mm -hmm. you know. But, you know, he, he said, he said, receive it. Mm -hmm. I want you to receive it. And then forgive them yes. who hurt you. Yes. Mm -hmm. I had a problem with that. Yes. You know, I would be hugging, like, ooh, I can't. Mm. Can't stand you. Let me have them like that. Let me have them like that. Who's the tomorrow? Your grip will love. You got to touch him. I'm like, you know, feel this muscle. This is what you would have got back in the day. That forgiving, that's the hard part. You know, it takes a lot of commitment. It takes a real commitment to forgive. Yeah, absolutely. But it's actually a gift for yourself when you forgive. That's what I've learned. Oh, yes. It's. Because if you hold on to some something, it's going to damage you inside. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. More than it's going to damage that other person. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's it's really it's really sad. You know, like you said in the media, there's a lot of discussions on religion right now, and it's really sad that it feels like right now it's it's been that the religion hasn't been uniting people as it should be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because it's religion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's religion, not a relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah. so I feel like everyone needs to take that responsibility to contribute mm -hmm. in, in life, to make, you know, those mistakes go away mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of that separation that has happened. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Amen. I agree 100%. My husband, I remember him teaching um, a few years ago, and he said something that still resonates to me to this day, and I will never forget it. Um, and he said that God is not interested in changing our personality. That's good. He wants to change, change our, our character. character. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. said, your personality makes you who you are, mm -hmm. and it's your character that mm -hmm. makes you look like God. Mm -hmm. And it was just so deep to me, mm -hmm. and it brings me back to those thoughts of what the church, a lot of these traditional churches that are stuck in their ways are trying to do mm -hmm. to people. They don't want you to be yourself. Mm -hmm. It's be like me, be like this. You have to look like this. You fit in this box, or you don't fit here at all. Mm -hmm. And that's just not the heart of God. Yeah, that's, that's just not the heart of God. That's why he explained to us that there are so many different bodies, mm -hmm. I mean, so many different parts or in the body, the body. Mm -hmm. for us to understand mm -hmm. it's okay to be different as long as we work together. together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's all. Yeah, I, I've right. heard that same quote. Really? Yeah, and it, it, it did resonate with me as well. It's like, so, so deep and it's so true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, ladies, we are out of time for the evening. Great topic. Great discussion. Yes. Great. I'm glad the Lord gave me that yes. coming yes. here Thank because we were, we were going to talk about something totally different. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but uh, until next time, um, check 
check us out on Facebook. Uh, please, oh, don't let me forget. Please email us your, your questions or any topics you want to talk about at nationwidegirltalk at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to submit your name. Uh, oh, and I forgot, in your photo, I, I forgot to say that on the last show yeah. topic, your yeah. photo, to nationwidegirltalk at uh, gmail.com, or you can submit it to our Facebook page for a chance to win a free pair of Ugg boots. Don't forget to Ooh. include your mm -hmm. size. We're giving away five can I pair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could, but I can. Um, until next time, we will see you later. And that's it. And we're out, ladies. Mm -hmm.